Welcome back everybody. Uh, this is Glockman4519 and I am back with another ROM overview. Uh, this ROM is for the OnePlus One this time. Um, and I thought since I brought you uh, the Nexus 6 and N, uh, I thought this time I would uh, show you what is up in development for the OnePlus One. Um, it is actually a Cyanogen mod or CM13 or I'm sorry, CM14 uh, for the OnePlus One, and it's just awesome. Now, you guys have to remember that uh, since this is very new, and this is the first release of it, um, and I'm not even sure if it's official, I think it's kind of, I, I really do think it's an unofficial build, uh, you're not going to get all of the features that we're used to getting uh, with, you know, Cyanogen Mod. Theme Engine, number one, uh, it hasn't been implemented uh, in it yet, so, you know, bear in mind, there are going to be a few things that we're not going to have. But if you guys are really looking to run, uh, you know, uh, Nougat or Android version 7.0, uh, this is a, a way for you to do it. So I just kind of wanted you to give, I wanted to give you a comparison between the two. This is my uh, Nexus 6 and this is my OnePlus One. And obviously I'm recording this on my Nexus 6P. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my Nexus 6 out of the way. Uh, and we are going to put the OnePlus One in the center there since we are focusing on this device today. Uh, as you guys can see, um, it is the OnePlus One model number A0001. Uh, and it is Android version 7.0. Um, I did flash this with the supplied kernel. Uh, that comes with it and it worked it's working fine a uh, root is working Cyanogen mods root is working out of the box no issues there um, but at, uh, then I decided I was I wanted to go ahead and flash uh, the lightning kernel because uh, they do have a lightning kernel out that is made uh, specifically for nougat um, and since I'm on multi rom I haven't had a chance to try it yet uh, but since I am running multi rom on my one plus one I wanted to give it a try as well and of course, to do that, you need a kernel that has uh, Caxic hard boot. So that's one of the reasons I flashed it. Uh, again, I haven't tried it, but you know we're, we're, we are going to get to that. You'll see whether or not it works uh, right here on the video. Um, again, since this is going to be the first build out uh, of Cyanogen mod uh, CM14 for the OnePlus One, you're not going to have a lot of uh, things to it. Uh, as you guys can see, whoops. Uh, as you guys can see, um, you have your, your standard. Uh, first off, it's going to show you your suggestions. You know, it's telling me that I need to put a screen lock on uh, the, and that I should use, uh, you know, Google Now Voice. Um, but underneath that, it's going to be your, uh, your wireless settings, you know, your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, your data. I do not have a SIM card in this yet, and I haven't tried uh, running any phone calls. I can't do that until later this evening. Uh, my grandson has my uh, Cricut SIM card, so I can't really try um, a SIM card in it. Uh, I'm hoping it works. I will let you guys know in the comments whether or not uh, data is working on it. Um, but then underneath that, you have your uh, display settings. Uh, these are your display settings. Uh, again, it's standard Cyanogen mod. I do have my sleep setting for 30 minutes because I'm doing a video. Uh, and I do want it to, uh, you know, I don't want it to time out on us. Uh, you have your screensaver. Uh, underneath your screensaver, you can set that up however you want. Um, and I also have, uh, or you also have your ambient display underneath that. Uh, I am running with the ambient display. Uh, tap to wake font size. Um, what's cool about font size, again, uh, since this is Nougat, uh, you can change the font size on the fly and it lets you see a preview of what it looks like. Uh, just by changing it, uh, it's that simple. Uh, I think it's really cool. Oh, another thing um, that I would like uh, to bring up, uh, we don't have our on-screen uh, nav bars like we have with uh, Marshmallow and some of the other ROMs uh, out for the OnePlus One, so you do have to use your hard keys, which isn't a problem. Um, it gives you a little more screen space, and for those of you that uh, are used to the OnePlus One and using uh, your uh, onboard buttons, you know, it's it's not like it's a handicap. Um, display size, same thing uh, as font size. Uh, you can actually 
uh, change it. Right now it's set to default. Uh, I can go to the small setting. Uh, it's going to show you uh, what it looks like, which is, again, really, really cool. Uh, I'll go back to default. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the larger setting. If that's if it even moves. There we go. And that's the preview of the large setting. I'm going to go back to default. And that's the way that works. Um, let's see. Then you have when, uh, when device is rotated. Uh, you know, you can rotate contents of screen or stay in landscape. Uh, I want to rotate the contents of the screen. You have cast underneath that. Uh, and then, of course, you have your battery light and notification lights. And I haven't had a chance to set this up, but I see no reason why uh, it's not going to work. Um, basically, you just set the color you want. Uh, short. I usually like to have mine for short and fast. As you guys can see, uh, the uh, LED is flashing. Now, whether or not it's going to work, uh, whenever I get a, a message, uh, you know, we'll see. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, that's pretty much it for display. We're going to go ahead and go into the notifications. Uh, this is going to be where you can set up your apps for per app notification. Um, if you go into the settings bar, you're going to get pulse notification light. And then, of course, your on-screen lock notifications, which is what you want to show uh, when your screen is locked. You know, how many notifications, all that. Uh, that's going to be where you set that up, up at. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I need a drink of Rockstar. All right, <clears throat> that's it for notifications. Under sound, you have your basic sound uh, adjustments, your volume adjustments. Uh, you do have do not disturb. Uh, phone ringtone, uh, notification, uh, you know, your alarm ringtones, uh, emergency broadcast, and then, of course, under other sounds. This is going to be your uh, screen locking sounds, charging sounds, touch sounds, uh, vibrate on tap, all that. That's going to be where you set that up at. Uh, and then, of course, cast is all the way at the bottom. Uh, let's see. They do give you the storage where you can see what's in your storage, uh, stuff like that. Uh, again, with this being, um, with this also, with this being Nougat, if I go into, like, say, my battery, uh, and if I swipe, if I swipe over from the left, that's going to give me my settings uh, tab where I can just instantly go to where I want to go uh, just by hitting the tab, swipe over, go to display. Uh, it's that I like about the settings. Now it's going to be, it's going to be cool to see where the development world goes with this, what they can do with it, maybe uh, color changes, uh, different themes for that. Um, I'm I'm really excited about that. Uh, I, I I can't wait to see where they actually go with that. I'm um, trying to think of what you guys are going to see. Now, the zero click, I'm not sure what the zero click is for. Uh, if you guys know what it is, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know. If you, if you know what that's for, uh, let me know, uh, you know, in the descriptions, you know, it, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one uh, that doesn't know what this is. And, uh, you know, if you do, other people would like to know. So make sure you guys uh, let us know in the uh, description. Uh, we do have our one plus one gestures. Uh, camera, music, flashlight. Uh, I don't know if it works. Uh, we can try it and see. Well, I just tried the C. Let me try a zero. All right. The zero is... That was just the ambient display. Let me try... Oops. Okay. Well, anyways. Flashlight is not working. Okay. Well, uh, again, guys, this is the first uh, build of this, so there's going to be some bugs, and I could be doing it wrong, too. It's, it's hard to say. Uh, under additional buttons, uh, you can actually swap buttons if it works, and as, I, as you can see, you guys can see it's actually not working. So, again, this is going to be a feature for later, and I'm guessing that is for when they add the, uh, uh, the on-screen nav bars. Um, then when they do that, then that's probably going to be uh, where your additional buttons are, are going to come into play. Uh, under security, uh, it is basic standard uh, security settings. Uh, you have your lock screen, encrypt phone. Um, you know, if you want, uh, as you can see, I am unencrypted. Uh, if I was encrypted, it would just say encrypted right there. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and it did not encrypt my phone with just stock, uh, which is one of the nice things I like about a non-Nexus phone. Uh, it, it just doesn't automatically encrypt your phone with Marshmallow and Nougat. 
Um, whereas uh, on a Nexus phone, if you're running Marshmallow or Nougat and you flash CM13 it just or 14, it's going to encrypt your phone right off the bat. Uh, you do have your device administrators. Make sure your unknown sources are turned on so you guys can uh, install apps, uh, you know, sideload apps, install them from your SD card, stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, all the way at the bottom, you do have your screen pinning and uh, your apps with usage access. And that is going to be about it, except for the uh, developer options. Uh, I will show you the developer options. Uh, it does not have advanced reboot, which sucks. I was really kind of hoping it had that, uh, but it doesn't. Uh, but if you scroll down, you will see you do have root access. Uh, I always go apps, ADB, uh, demo mode. If you guys, you know, that was that's actually under um, um, the, uh, yeah, I can't think. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> there's your root access. Uh, USB debugging, make sure you have that on. Uh, if you guys end up, um, you know, screwing your phone up and you need to push files through ADB, you need to have that turned on. That should be the very first thing that you turn on. Uh, I like the fact that they give us a local terminal. Uh, if you guys know what that local terminal is, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you don't, I suggest you read up on it. Uh, it's actually a very, very valuable tool to have on your phone. Um, and I don't see anything else in here that uh, that's really uh, pertinent. Uh, or, you know, it's like you don't have the, uh, uh, the multi-window or all that. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be baked right in. Um, we're going to try that out too. So that is pretty much it, except for this, the uh, system UI tuner, uh, which you do have to press and hold the gear uh, in the drop down. Uh, if you pull your drop down down and you press and hold on that gear, it'll spin. And it, and it will enable the system UI tuner. You go into that. Uh, first up is going to be your status bar. This is going to be where you just pick and choose what you want to show on your status bar. Uh, you do have your time settings where you can have AM showing or not or don't show the time at all. Uh, and also your battery where you can show your percentage always or you know just when you're charging, stuff like that. And the percentage is not next to it. It's inside the battery, which is kind of dumb. You can't see it. So um, anyways, hopefully that will change too. Oops, uh, I want to go back in here again. Uh, then they do have the nav bar settings in here, but there's really no way to enable uh, on uh, on screen nav bars. So you know, hopefully, again, uh, this will uh, you know they will add this in as they uh, get updates to it. And under other, you do have enable split screen with the up gesture, a uh, swipe gesture, uh, and then your power uh, notification controls. And that is pretty much it, guys. But it's sweet, man. CM, uh, CM14, right there you go. Uh, Signage mod version 14, unofficial bacon. So, we do have nougat for the OnePlus One. Come on, go home. There we go. Uh, we do have nougat for the OnePlus One. Uh, I think it's awesome. Uh, I knew we weren't going to get, you know, a... Um, an official build just because of the processor that comes into OnePlus One. Uh, Nougat does not support that processor. Uh, but I kind of figured as long as Signage and Mod is, uh, is, is alive and kicking, um, you know, we were going to get it. So uh, that's just awesome. Um, I did want to try the... And I don't know how to do it on this. There they are. Um... So if I go and, and see, it's kind of hard. I don't know how to do the, I don't know how to do this. If I double tap it, press and hold, press and hold again. Yeah, it's, anyways, you, you don't have the, uh, the multi-window mode yet. Uh, I think what we're going to have to do is we'll have to wait until they actually get the on-screen, uh, you know, nav bars down here. Um, and do away with the, uh, you know, the build-in buttons. But anyways, guys, there you go. Uh, we do have CM14 for the OnePlus One. It is not perfect. Uh, I Like I said, I couldn't test the uh, phone call uh, quality on it, but the camera works. Um, but I did try to take a video with the camera, um, and 4K shuts down immediately. Uh, the 1080p starts to record, uh, but then it stopped. 
It could be something with my camera. I'm not 100% sure about that, uh, but I did do a screen record and screen record is working perfectly. Uh, the screen record works. Uh, it also, it comes with screen record. I'll show you the app here. Uh, let me find it. <laughs> right here. Uh, screen record does work. You just tap that button, go back. Uh, it is now taking a screen record. You can see my touches. Um, and then if I hit screen record again, it'll ask me if I want to shut it up, shut it off. Yes. Um, so if I pull the drop down, I can actually open it up. And I want to go with that just once. And just so you guys can see. Whoa, let me, uh, yeah, anyways, you guys can see that. Record, you can see my touches. Turn that down. And then if I hit screen record again. That's the kernel I'm using. The kernel I'm using and the kernel auditor. Uh, I have my uh, volume enhanced or uh, taken up a notch. Uh, I just like my volume up a little bit, so, and it does work very well, so. All right, guys, that's it. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, I do want to thank all of my subscribers, uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.